This is the day that the Lord has made, and we rejoice and are glad in it. Ito po isang araw na pinagpala sa bagay. Lahat naman ng araw ay pinagpala, and we should always thank the Lord every day. Okay? Dahil araw-araw po ang kanyang biyaya at pagpapala ay magpakailanman. His grace and mercy is always uh, given to us every day. Ganun po katapat ang ating Panginoon. Sa ating Ibanghelyo po ngayon, uh, narinig natin na sinugo ng mga pareseyo, yung mga pare, at uh, mga libita kay John the Baptist upang tanungin siya, Sino ka ba? Or who are you? Siguro sa ating modern times, pag tinanong tayo ng gano'n, parang sabihin nila, who you? Diba? Who you? Sino ka ba? And uh, for sure, tinanong nila si John kung sino siya, hindi dahil uh, out of uh, curiosity. Kundi uh, tinanong nila sila uh, with full of suspicion. Kasi kakaiba yung, ano, eh, yung, yung character ni John nabasa natin o na, na nababasa natin kung kung paano siya namubuhay kakaiba kakaiba ang kanyang damit kakaiba yung kanyang pagkain at um, siya ay uh, kasintapang din ni Isaiah in proclaiming uh, the gospel or, or the, the the message he uh, proclaimed it with fierce honesty and resoluteness and uh, siya ay anak din ng pare di ba anak sa ni Zechariah Pero wala siyang kinalaman sa temple. At ang maraming taong pumupunta sa kanya. And at that time, sila ay uh, under ng Roman government. At pagka nagkatipon-tipon ang mga tao, napaka-dangerous kasi uh, the Roman uh, uh, soldiers might, no, no, alam mo, baka isipin nila, oy rebellion ito. And uh, siguro may magkakaroon ng crackdown and uh, alam mo na nabasa natin pag nagkaroon ng crackdown ang mga Roman soldiers ito ay madugo no But uh, John when asked John knows his identity Alam niya kung sino siya and he knows his identity by showing his humility Kababa ang loob Kasi nang tinanong siya pwede niya namang sabihin na siya si siya ang misaya Kasi at that time, maraming lumalabas siguro ng mga false messiah. Pwede rin sabihin niya na siya yung si, si Elijah nung siya ay tinanong. At pwede rin sabihin niya na uh, siya yung uh, pro- prophet. Pero he knows himself and he knows his role. Kaya sinabi niya, ako ay isang mensahero lamang to prepare the way of the Lord. Humility, pagpapakumbaba, because he knows himself. Sometimes, you know, marami sa atin, we brag ourselves, no? Uh, in order to boast ourselves, siguro natural na sa atin mga tao, ang mag, we, to boast ourselves. Sometimes we we boast ourselves by uh, putting ourselves in relation with, with known people, like politicians, di ba? O kaya sino mga kilalang tao, or even our bishops. No? But uh, hindi tayo yun. The more we identify ourselves with known people, the more our real beings remain not known. Ang kailangan po natin ay kagaya ni John, which is humility. Because humility is an essential attitude for success in the spiritual life. And humility requires sincerity. Kagaya po ng mga bata, di ba? Ang dali nila magpakumbaba. Pag sila ay nagkamali, aaminin nila, o sila, ano, para lang, pag gusto nila makipagbate sa kanilang kalaban, kahit sila yung, yung nasaktan, magpapakumbaba sila. But unlike adult persons, uh, maraming hidden uh, resentments and prejudices and uh, hidden, you know, many masks. Ayaw, ayaw aminin. The paradox is that a humble person wins more respect from others than the person who is proud and powerful. 
Yung taong nagpapakumbaba, mas mataas ang pagtingin sa kanya ng ibang tao. Kesa yung mga taong, alam mo yan, uh, who is proud of themselves. Parang ano lang yan eh, parang kagaya ng isang basong uh, puno ng tubig. Kahit anong buhos mo ng tubig, kay isang drum pa yan, ay bubuhos mo dyan, hindi niya madadagdagan. Kasi yan ay puno na. Unlike yung isang baso na kalahati ang laman, pag nilagyan mo yan, malalagyan pa rin siya. Kasi meron siyang space for additional water. So parang ganun din. People who are full of themselves, they do not anymore grow in faith. Why? Because they show that they know everything. Ayaw na nilang matuto. Diba? So wala na papasok sa kanila because they think, they boast themselves as Christians because they, they know everything. Diba? Parang kagaya ng baso na puno ng tubig. But unlike those who are half full glass, or those, those who are Christians na who are always longing to know more, ito yung mga taong nag-grow in faith. And one of the attitude is that it's always humility. I would like to 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 no, to take yung sinabi ni Saint Augustine, no? Because Saint Augustine once said sa kanya isang libro, "If you ask me what the essential thing in the religion and this and discipline of Jesus Christ is," sabi niya, "I shall reply first." It's humility. Second, humility. And third, humility. Just like the character of John the Baptist. He knows himself. He knows his role. Kung ano ang kanyang uh, itinalaga sa kanya ng Panginoon. It should be the same with us. Okay? We should be humble ourselves. Ngayon, we are, we are uh, moving to season of Lent. Okay? And we need humility. Okay? We need humility in order to, to open up ourselves to know more of God and to grow in faith. And I would live with this, uh, with this uh, sayings. Always be humble if you want to be close to Jesus, just like John the Baptist. Always be humble if you want to grow in faith. Okay, just like this glass na half full. And always be humble if you want others to respect you. Amen.